Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over one of the templates we have here in the HR template section, and that is the Employee Overtime Audit Template, which I haven't reviewed before, but we've had this listed for a little while, so I thought it would help to go through an example of how to use this template. And overtime is something that can be seen as good or bad from the employee perspective. If you work in HR, overtime can tell you a lot. You may want to do different reports. Maybe employees are getting burnt out and they're having too much overtime and it can be an indication that you may need to hire additional headcount to help with the workload. So there's a lot of different reasons you may want to dive into different overtime trends at your company. And this file is going to make it really easy for you to do that. So let me jump into the file. So how this works is there's different tabs or pages at the bottom. You will pull some different overtime reports, hopefully from your payroll system is able to provide that by employee ID, hopefully. And once you get all that information, you can paste this into the template and then click the refresh button, which is up here, data refresh all. And then all of these tables will update. So this is kind of just a look at some different reports that we have set up to show total overtime based on the title. So if you have more than one HR specialist, more than one accountant, this is saying overall for that job, 6% of their pay is, is paid as overtime. And we're just taking the total overtime earnings divided by their current salary. And same with totals by department. You can see by department, operations has the highest overtime percent or by region. You can also break it out by team, but I left that blank for this example. Um, and then there's other tabs and reports where we can see, okay, the head count, how many employees are, you know, getting between 10 to 20% overtime. And that's just the percent of overtime as compared to their base annual salary. So it is looking at like an annualized overtime amount. And I'll go over that in a second, what you need to pull for the reports in order for this to all make sense. And then this breakdown goes into the overtime by job title, by department, and it's breaking each out into the headcount of how many are falling within the different overtime ranges. So those are just a couple of reports. We can also do it by just getting a list of employees in the total over time. This page will all populate. Uh, so all the templates that we have at Time Saving Templates, the gray cells or formulas. So let me reset it. So I had data in here, I removed it. Anytime new data is added or removed to the earnings detail, if you click data, refresh all, now it reset and everything's blank. So that's probably how it will come across when you first get this template until you add your data. So let me show you how to go about adding your information because there's a couple steps to make sure. So hopefully you're able to get a report by employee ID or employee name. And the main columns that we need here are the green. So the employee ID, the overtime earnings, their current hourly rate. And then we also have some other columns that are gonna be really helpful if you want the summaries to total by department, title, and then we also have effective date here. So there's a couple scenarios of reports. You may get a report that lists the employee name on multiple rows, and that's because it's listing each payroll effective date and how much overtime they had it at each payroll date. So if that's the case for you, I'm gonna go over how to set that up before you paste this into the template. If you're able to get a report that just has one employee name per overtime earnings, so you're able to say, pull an annual report that says for the whole year, 
of 2023 or 2022, each employee has one row and it's already totaling their total overtime they've had over the whole year, then you can just paste that directly into this template and you can skip the step I'm about to go over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if your overtime report looks like this and you have multiple rows, so like employee one is listed here and here, and there could be multiple rows per employee, and you can see that there are different effective dates. So we have a February effective date, and then we have a March effective date. So maybe it's a monthly total of their overtime for that month. And if you have a lot of data and you're not sure if you have duplicates or not, one way you can quickly check it, just go to highlight the employee ID column, conditional formatting, and highlight your duplicate values with a red and you'll see everything is highlighted but maybe if not you could choose to filter by color if not if it's more spaced out and you don't see anything that may help too okay man okay so the we're going the first thing we want to do is sort by the employee ID so that they're lining up together and then we can also sort by the effective date or the pay date in the last column. So I'm going to highlight all the columns and scroll down to the bottom of your data just to make sure you have everything. I'm just going to go here and once you have everything highlighted go to data sort and make sure my data has headers is checked and we're going to do employee ID first. It doesn't really matter whether it's smallest to largest. It's just going to group the IDs together and then do add a level. And we also want to do by effective date or pay date, which is the last column. And we want to do the newest to the oldest. So if somebody had a job change or title change, we want newest pay date. So we pull in the newest, their current title or pay rate. If you want to show the oldest, you could do that too. If you want to remove people that have had job changes, because we are showing totals per job and you don't you only want people that were in the job for the time that you're looking at, you can remove them from the analysis. So once we have that sorted, we're good to paste this into the template, but you do want to double check your column headers are going to line up and match and match to this overtime template. So like if I just take these headers and paste, you can paste the headers above and just double check. You may need to reorder because all the summaries are going to be looking at these specific columns for the information. You'll see current salary isn't there, so I would just right click, shift the cells right before we paste it into the template. So you probably won't have it exactly lined up like this because I already had the setup from the example, but just know you may have to reorder your columns before you paste it in. Another thing to note about this file, the template will calculate the annual salary if you have only have the hourly rate. Most of the formulas are looking at annualized salary versus how much overtime they had within one year. If you want to look at overtime within one quarter, or one month, you can do that. I would just override the current salary by taking their annualized salary divided by four if you want their quarterly salary divided by 12 if you want their monthly salary. So hopefully you get the idea with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all this data. If you had a full year's worth, it might be going down a little bit further. So I'm gonna highlight that. And then I'm going to come over here and paste it into the template. And you'll see I did the first thing. I pasted over blank where there was this formula to calculate the salary. 
you can just come right here where we paste it over, just drag that up. That's just taking the hourly rate times 2080. That's to get the full time annualized salary. Okay, so now that we have this in here, you'll see everybody's in order and we have this information. But if I click over to the summary, you'll see nothing's updated yet. That's because we didn't click data refresh all. So let me go ahead and do that. And then now you'll see we have a nice report and summary. And now we can start reviewing where we might need to dig deeper. The first thing that stands out here is that senior accountant getting 15% is a lot higher than the others. And region three is a lot higher than the others. So you could look at things like that. Okay, so now this looks at account of Eight out of the 10 people we pasted in, eight are falling below 9.9% .9 of their of overtime compared to their base pay, and two are get between 10 to 20%. And then these tables updated as well. It will also total per employee. So if you had that large report with a bunch of different overtime in each pay period, this will just list the employee and their total overtime for the year. And just the other thing to know that you can change is the categories that some of this analysis is placing people in. So, you know, we're taking overtime divided by their annualized earnings to see the percentage. Since we, everybody was below 20%, you might want to change these categories. So you can edit the green and then refresh. So say I wanted to do you know, between zero and 5%, then I do five to 10, and then 10 to 20, and I don't really need this much. And then, so we can come back and look at our summary and do data refresh again. And it updated to still eight people. So this is telling me we don't have anybody between five and 10. It's either zero to 5% or 10 to 20%. We have nobody in this five to 10 category. And we can double check that by coming to detailed summary and looking at this column G. This is where it's calculating and placing everybody into the categories and this will also total by employee so if you wanted to see who is the highest overtime out of all the employees you could do that here and you could also use the filter so we have two people both at 17 percent overtime they're both in accounting so that may be some good information to review so I hope that explains more how to use this template. And you can find this template if you go to timesavingtemplates.com and go to the shop and human resources section, and you'll see it there, the overtime employee overtime audit template. And we also have some free resources you can find here at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. And there's a section for human resources and compensation related freebies. And we also have some different things for small business and rental property, as well as a free guide to get you started with Excel. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your spreadsheets. Thanks.